everyone, this is Stevio here, and today we need to get our oats planted so we can harvest them off. So if you look, basically, hopefully we get a geo calendar that allows us to double crop. The current in-game doesn't, but usually in Wisconsin you should be able to plant oats, probably swath the oats. For hay and then plant soybeans right after it so don't know if we're going to be able to do it we kind of need a change in the geo we'll look around see if we can find one but we need to get our cattle some foods we'll take our little gator down good get around little vehicle for us so yesterday off screen I got all the linemen done that was a big task for our little blue TW10 good little tractor getting our big blue 8670 we'll fill, fill this up so we still need to get some feed made the grass isn't ready to swath yet so we're still waiting around for that So we're going to have to purchase some feed for a little while here until we get some grass. So you see we have currently a 1.5 million dollar loan. Each season we owe the bank 100,000. So that is a big task like we really have to focus hard as you see that we do have a little bit of reserve up there but it's dwindling fast hopefully we won't have to sell a tractor or something or some cattle to make our bank payments turn here properly there we go I don't know why I'm gonna go around and turn around here there's our 8820 yes we still have it sitting there so won't have to use that for a little while. I think I need to get a weight on this tractor's off. Well, then cattle didn't take much feed. That's good. Do need to get some straw, but we'll get that another day. So, first we have some slurry we need to spread on these fields. So I'm contemplating putting all the small fields over here on this side in oats. And hopefully be able to swap some of it for feed as long as we catch it right. There's our 5488. It needs to go to the shop. Has a little sound problem, if you can see. Yes, it's running right now. So, needs to a little bit of work. Good looking tractor. Can't wait to use it, though. We'll take our white 145 workhorse. 
We need to do some work. Fill up with slurry. So we have four fields. Forgot, while this thing is filling up, I'm going to take the gator down with the hired hand and get him started chiseling our big field. Oops. So, big field. I guess we would call this the North 80. So it's a little odd shaped field, but it has a few islands in it. It's a really good looking field in my my book. This grass is growing. Definitely need to get it sped up. Let me know if we should uh, chisel this grass up so we can fertilize it properly and everything and replant it. Obviously I like where this grass is located so I'm just going to keep it here, but don't know if we should chisel it up so we get more out of it or not or just let it grow the wild grass it is so we got our 4955 here works good on this chisel get the hired hand going around this field And she is off. So that field will be good. I believe I might plant this into corn. That's the plan at least. Keep doing that. Gator here is just so light. So we'll rush back over here and then start slurring. What do we call that? We called it our double 40? Believe. Combine 40? I can't remember for sure. We'll leave this off to the side so it's out of the way. Mm, got a little squat on our white workhorse there. A lot of weight. Hopefully we got enough weight on the front of this. Go around here. Got a little ways to go. So we got some of our uh, tillage and planter ready last night too. So basically we limed all of our fields, which that's a lot of liming. That poor little, little blue deserves some rest. TW10 Ford has impressed me, that's for sure. Get this spread out. There we go. I feel where this thing goes here. There we go. Spread in some slurry. So we'll time lapse the rest of this. So this GEA slurry spreader has three spigots that spread the manure out in like a half moon fashion to spread it on top of the soil. We'll work this in later. like we finished with the first tank there.
really odd. I wish this slurry spreader got more dirty, but usually when you see them, they are just unbelievably nasty dirty. give this thing a little break while we go get the hired hand started uh, disking this manure in so slurry wet manure whatever you want to call it park him right here run on down to the farm beans were close we got our 1586 here on our little John Deere split disc we're gonna disc this in. Should work nicely to disc this field in. I really enjoy being able to run all these different brands. International, Workhorse, and then a John Deere. It's nice being able to run them all. Benefit of having a old school farm you definitely can afford more of the tractors and everything John Deere's running good with the 220 disc here don't like how the little harrows in the back kind of sink in too far it's unfortunate. A little 1586 is pulling it with ease though. Get this started around. And then we can start planting. Do enjoy these uh, international turbos definitely one of my favorite tractors the international especially the 86 just the way the cab looks and everything I've always think they look so good hear them straight piped in the field to definitely freaking have a unique sound to them one of my favorite tractors would enjoy to have one one day but it might be kind of a pipe dream. I call you up in the middle of the night. Been bothered by dreams, ain't feeling alright. You give me comfort, say just give it some. The split disc John Deere works this ground up nicely for planning. I think this 1586 is going to be my permanent tillage tractor on the farm. We will start spreading the next field so we can keep in front of the disc. Head back for another load. We will pick up where we left off over here.
Almost done with this field. Didn't take long at all. Now that we're full, we'll head back to the field. Didn't really have a lot left on this field. Spreading one of our two 20 acre fields here. Start heading back. This should be our last load of slurry we have to load. Jump right over to the next field. Definitely enjoying this 1586 as a tillage tractor. Jumping our K10. Gotta get this bags of seed over here. Fill up this planter. Before we start heading out. go all right now that we got the oat seed in there head to the field 7810 is getting a lot of work early this season looks pretty good with the Dimco uh, side tanks on it Definitely reminds me run the 7140s. We always had side tanks on them. Running 12 row core planters. There we go. Start making rounds with our 1590 John Deere planter. Pretty nice looking planning rig if I have to say so myself. Looks like we have abundance of liquid fertilizer storage on this rig. Jump back over to our slurry spreader and spread our last field.
Okay, now we are finally done slurring, at least the small fields. We'll get this old white workhorse put away. Now we just gotta see if we can get the fields planted today. Still pretty heavy on this old girl. Go. So we put the hubs on the back of the 4670 so we can help out with tillage. Don't know if I'll keep the hubs on or not. Really don't like how this tractor turns. I don't know what's with it, but it needs a little scripting in its turn. For whatever reason, it's slow to react, seems like. Don't know, just kind of odd feeling when you're driving this tractor. Don't like rear hubs on a tractor, really either. Not really American. See, it just slow to react. I don't know what, why it doesn't go back. Looks like our 1586 Red Power just got done. And does this chisel really get dirty quick? We'll just jump over to the next 20 acre field and finish it up really quick. Doesn't take long with this 8670 and this big old chisel. Alright, we'll take this uh, 1586 back, clean it up a little bit, and I think we're going to get it on our other planter. Get this old girl washing that it deserves. Man, is that other one. It's almost black. Really got the poo all over that one. Let's get these things cleaned up. There you go. Put the 1066 on the planter. Apparently the 1586 just wants to be known as a tillage tractor only. I don't know why, but when you put it with course play, it says it's a uh, missing fill. So, don't matter here. We'll put the 1066. Works good with this planter. We've got two planters running. Where you are? efficient this way. This 1066 open station just pulls this planter nicely. This long shape 40 acre field takes a lot less time because of less turning around. I'm 
we will do multiple headlands on this field, so let's turn them back and forth. just love how the terrain angle slopes the fields in Autumn Oaks. This one is my favorite maps. Now that that field's done, we'll head right to the next field. Won't take long getting done with this 20 acre patch. Just like the other field, we'll do multiple headlands, so let's turn it around. Now we just have a little patch left in this field, won't take long now. So we finally got done planting all the oats. We'll get these two tractors cleaned up and planters lubed up and put away. Think we still need to plant some uh, wheat, but probably that's about it for the use of this this year. As long as uh, we can't plant soybeans into these double crop soybeans into our oats. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later on Oaks.